Okay, so in our five ratchet series, I mentioned that a gear inch pass through could double as a shallow socket. But today I've got two shallow socket sets that we can actually compare it to. We'll start off, this is just a regular gear inch, 90 tooth, low profile head with a standard half inch socket. This is a gear inch pass through with a half inch socket as well. Now what makes these two different than a regular pass through is the actual shape of the socket. The socket can be grabbed by a traditional quarter inch drive or I think these are both like around 11 millimeters. Now what's interesting about this set is that this is a power torque from O'Reilly's and this set with sockets is about $40. If you wanna get a snap on low profile set, be prepared to pay a lot more than that. However, there are a few differences between the sets I'd like to point out. So if you're just starting out, something like this is great for a low profile. The one thing about it that may get in your way is how big the handle is and then the curb as well. Sometimes it may come in handy and sometimes it may actually hurt you. But most of the time when you wanna use a low profile ratchet, you don't have a lot of room. So the handle on this one's a lot smaller. Technically you could shave that down and then you'd be fine. When you compare the actual height of the ratchet, the head, the power torque is probably maybe one or two millimeters taller only because the gear selector switch is a little bit taller. So the forward and reverse switch that engages the paws on this ratchet is just tall enough to make it stick out past the snap-on. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. I gotta put them both down. As you can see, we've got the power torque on the right and the gear wrench on the left, and they're basically the same height. I put this ruler behind each of them for scale, just so you can see about how tall they are. So I think the actual ratchet side of the snap-on is bigger. So for $40, this is definitely a pretty good investment. Now let's talk about the differences between this and the nicer set um, from snap-on. One is the ratchet feel. This one's pretty hard to turn, has a lot of back drag on it compared to this. You can hear the difference. It has a lot less teeth in it. Another one is just the physical size of the ratchet itself. The ratchet head of the snap-on is a lot smaller. Not terribly, but it is a little bit smaller than the power torque. So that's two examples of a low profile socket set. And I gotta say for the money, I would definitely start out with that one. So I was actually just looking and I was able to find this online for like $22 with the socket set. So that's really cheap. So um, for how low this is and the price, it's a pretty hard deal to beat. And I also wanna mention that this is a low profile set from Power Torque. There's the number and it's actually a quarter inch drive body. A lot of the time, if you get a low profile socket set, it may be in a three eighths um, style body, which isn't gonna do you any good. So for comparison, that's a gear inch three eighths pass through next to a gear inch quarter inch pass through. So this is a quarter inch low profile setup for $20. The gear inch set is a lot more expensive. It comes in around 60 and then the snap-on set off the truck it may give you a deal, but it's going to be around $250. So there's, there's your, there's your sign. I think if you got one of these, shoot, I would buy two. I would leave one like this and I would take one and I would grind it off if I was just starting out. And then I would take this ratchet apart. Uh, let's see if it's got a ring on it. And I had to do some research, figure out how to get it apart. And I would lube the ratchet a lot. And then I'd put one in a drill and just spin it a bunch of times to make it click and break it in really good. Because this uh, this one's about six months old and it's getting getting some use from its owner. So it's relatively broken in, but that ratchet is just so hard to turn. I wonder when you actually need it, if that's gonna bother you. But there you go. For the money, if you're starting out as an AMP and you want a low profile socket set, go with the power torque. You will not be disappointed. Buy two, cut one in half. And when you get there, if you really want to, you can get you a snap on one.
but you don't have to. The, that's cut. See in the video, cut. 